Hey everybody, we're back at the Bandai Namco booth for E3 2018. I'm sitting with Michael Daus, the Director of Publishing for Larian Studios. Great to see you, Michael. Good to see you, too. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. We're here to talk about Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition, coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4, just announced August, August 31st, 31st, 2018. So, for new fans of the series, can you give us a little bit of, of an overview of what Divinity is and why we should be playing it? You play as a wilders of a forbidden magic uh, in a world that's been oppressed by uh, people called the Order. Uh, so in the game world, uh, the Order are afraid that uh, users of magic have opened the world up to uh, Voidwoken, who are, who are beasts that attack um, from another realm. Um, and so they're rounding up anyone that's using magic in order to uh, kill them and try and hold back these uh, beasts. Um, unfortunately, in the world of Rivalon, uh, the gods have left uh, the world, and, and one of you in your party has a chance to become the new god, but only one and that's kind of the catch. The story sounds amazing. Can you tell us a little, a little bit about the world of Rivalon and kind of what the players will experience when they're, when they're there? Okay, so it's a very systemic game that, that rewards a lot of exploration. It's about 120 hours-ish of content, and we like to think that whatever you do in the world of uh, Rivalon, you'll be rewarded, uh, be it with loot or surprises or narrative or secrets. There's no filler there. There's no fetch quests or anything like that. So it's a big playground, a very, a very rich sandbox uh, playground for all of your friends to sort of uh, venture in. I know there's a lot of interactions um, and player decisions that go on in the combat too. Can you tell us a little about the combat style? Yeah, so really the game is about interaction. For example, during combat, you can use uh, different magical abilities uh, like fire, ice, um, water, uh, and combine these to create different effects um, to sort of layer the combat in very interesting ways. It sounds like building your party is a really big part of the game. Can you tell us a little bit about building your party and who you can choose all along the way? Yeah, so uh, any of the six origin characters that you see in the character creation screen are actually uh, characters that exist in the game world that you'll come across, or you won't. Some of them are hidden, uh, some of them are doing activities that if you side with them, they'll join with you, or if you uh, don't side with them, they'll attack you. You may not meet these people, you may not have them in your party. Uh, but if you do, uh, you'll be able to choose what class they are um, from an early level that you can adapt and, and create um, sort of change to match what you need in your party. Fantastic. And I know now that you're bringing it to Xbox One and PS4, you guys have made some some quality of life changes and added some new features. Can you tell us a little bit about, about those? Yeah, so um, talking about the console audience specifically, a lot of these changes are very heavy UI changes that make the game feel a lot better for a controller. Um, and we've also changed a lot of this stuff too. So we have, I think it's uh, 40,000 words that have been rewritten, 30,000 wow. lines that have been um, recast. Uh, we've completely changed the final act of the game with new story moments, uh, polishing out some of the kinks. The first thing we did was uh, when we shipped the game, we were not looking at sort of um, the sales figures or review scores, it was kind of like, well, what do we need to change? What comes in the first patch? How do we fix that? And then how do we fix the next one? And then what do we not like about it that we can make it even better? We're very lucky in that it, people have been supporting it this whole time. It sells very well, it continues to sell well. So we want to make sure that whoever buys it now is, uh, knows that they're having the definitive version of the game, the best possible version it could be. So we're just pushing it a little bit further. Well, August 31st can't come soon enough for me, man. I can't wait to play it. So thank you so much for stopping thank by you. and telling us about Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.